I'm Wendy Singer, owner and CEO of Tattered Angels. I am here today to show you my techniques video, or my techniques album 101. I would like to walk you through the basics of how to use the Glimmer Mist. So what we're going to be doing today is I would like to show you just the first few pages. And right now I'm going to walk you through how to mist how the Glimmer Mist and why I invented it. I wanted you to be able to apply the paint and create your own backgrounds, your own designs to your backgrounds, and to make sure that you're using it correctly so that we don't get clogged sprayers, which I also want to walk you through. So let's get started on page one. If you um, shake it like this, it also can land on your carpet. And it's not so easy to get out of carpet. Your hands, your face, your lips, you know, it, it comes off real quickly. Close, comes out. But carpet, not so easy. So let's try to shake side to side. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take all of my pages out and set my cover aside. And this is exactly what I have you do in class. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna set all of my pages up here. And you'll see that you get all these nice little tabs. Everything is all. This is just 101 and you get all these pages in here for techniques. And I'm gonna move my um, title page aside and I'm gonna grab my page one. I like to try to you know, control the mist somewhat and I like to put down a paper towel so that it's nice and flat and then put my page one right on the top of that just like so. And it makes it a little bit easier for cleanup in between each page. So let's get started on misting. What we're going to do is shake from side to side again, making sure that all the, the glitter at the bottom is shook up. Just takes a few shakes here. And then what I'm going to do is we are going to put on, I'm going to use the Bahama Blue first, kind of my favorite. And I am going to coat almost the entire page. When you are spraying, this is very important. You need to make sure that you spray all the way. You've got to commit to the mist. If you do little tiny half pumps, what you're doing is you're actually backing up all the glitter in this little cap right here. And what caught, that's what causes those, those clogs. So you need to make sure that when you spray, you spray all the way down and commit to the spray, okay? If you wanna spray like this, that's fine too, but you've gotta make sure you push the, the sprayer all the way down. Then what I'm gonna do, now that my blue is on, I am going to shake up my sun sisters this one has become one of my very favorite colors it's a fantastic top coat and what i'm going to do is just do a little bit on the top okay and that's it and this is what you're going to get when it dries you get this fabulous little background okay now one more tip that i want to go through is how to clear your clog sprays. We, I recommend taking the cap right off. You're gonna pull the cap off. Do you see how I just pulled that cap off? It's really hard to explain via email or phone how to pull the cap off because people think that you need to take the whole thing off. Really, you just need to pull off that little top cap. I recommend rinsing it out with water. Actually, there's three ways that you can do it. You can do Heidi Swap method and do the mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. I don't recommend that because then you've got blue all over your face all day. But I do recommend rinsing it out with water, which I'll do real quick. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take canned air. It's the, the canned air that you use for like office supplies. You can find it at your office supplies. We buy it in bulk so that we can show people and um, from uh, Sam's has it. And what we do is put the sprayer all the way down, not, not with the straw directly into there, kind of create that little hole right there, and you're gonna push down, and it pushes the clog out, right out of the sprayer. 99% of the time, this clears your sprayer automatically. The second thing is, is you, I like to go back the other way. In case it's a little bit bigger of a clog, it won't come out. So I push this canned air right up to the front of the sprayer, which pushes all the rest of the clog out, okay? The second one, which I learned from somebody, let me see, I was at Creative Escape, and she recommended, which she uses and keeps right next to her, is a jewelry cleaner, believe it or not. You know, those little uh, jewelry cleaners, she puts water in there, and if one clogs, she throws it in her jewelry uh, cleaner, and it vibrates the glimmer right out of it. Remember that the reason that they're clogging is 
usually, I want to say usually, depending on the way that you spray. That's what's making the clog sprayers. I could never figure out why certain people would clog every single sprayer and then others wouldn't have any problems at all. It just didn't make sense to me. So I started really analyzing why that happened. And I believe it's from, it's the way that people are using the mist. Number one is you need to, again, make sure that you commit to the mist. That is the most important. People who maybe don't have a strong enough index finger kind of have a hard time pushing the sprayers down. If you do, try your thumb because your thumb is a little bit stronger and you can get the pumps all the way down. Number two is to make sure that you keep your bottle in an upright position. People try to keep the mist within the paper or within your project and so they spray like this direct and what happens is the glimmer goes to the top of the surface of the bottle and all the glimmer shoots right down the straw all at the same time. So you want to make sure that you keep your bottle in a somewhat upright position while spraying, like so, okay? Then also to make sure that you shake from side to side, okay? I believe we've hit all the techniques on page one of the Techniques Binder. We've also shown you how to spray and pool to create an entire page background and how to unclog those sprayers. I think that we did good. Thank you.